Happy New Year, Canucks fans. It is Tuesday, January the 2nd. Tonight, the Canucks host the Anaheim Ducks at Rogers Arena, hoping to start off 2018 better than they end off 2017. Last game for the Canucks, they lost 4-3 to the Kings on Saturday night. Relatively entertaining game. I was not there. I was watching it on TV, but I will be there tonight to see the Ducks game versus the Canucks. And not only with my lovely wife, Gail, but actually blessed that all five of our family members will be there. So Gail and her three kids, Sean, Jacob, and Kayla. It's the first time in forever that I can remember that all five of us are going to the same game. And these tickets are compliments of the Vancouver Canucks as a thank you for doing the Canucks Christmas Carols video. Of course, I did the video, the four of them didn't, so they're completely riding my coattail. No, I'm just kidding. I'm happy to enjoy the game tonight, hoping to see a Canucks win. Will we see Chris Tanev in the lineup? Not sure. I'm recording this before the Travis Green game day press conference, but if yesterday's practice lines were any indication, he was playing with Michael Delzato. We still had Troy Stetcher with Alex Edler, and then we had on the third pairing, so to speak, Derek Pouliot with Eric Goodbranson. So it looks like Pouliot and Delzato will be split up if Tanev returns. That means that Ben Hutton and Alex Biega were playing on the fourth pairing, so to speak. So if Tanev comes in, look for Biega and Hutton to be the two D-men sitting. But as we've seen before, you can never tell from practice. You never know if Chris Tanev will be able to play tonight. Four lines look to be the same. Sedins and Eriksson, Granlin between Vertan and Godobin, Besser, Vanek and Gagne, and then a fourth line of Brendan Gauntz there, Nick Dowd there, and one of Reed Boucher or Michael Chaput. Look for Jacob Markstrom to start net. Brock Besser, congratulations. He won Rookie of the Month, the NHL Rookie of the Month, for the second consecutive month. So not only in November, but now in December. It's the first time that any Canuck has gone back-to-back -back for Rookie of the Month. I know um, Trevor Linden won it one time, Pavel Bury won it one time, but no Canucks rookie has won it back-to-back. -back. And who knows, Besser may go on to win it a couple more times before this year ends, and hopefully this leads to a Calder Trophy win for him. So Brock Besser, fourth overall in goals, not just among rookies, first among rookies, fourth overall in goals for the entire NHL. Pretty exciting story and a feel-good story, as we've talked about, probably the feel-good story of the season so far. Lastly, with the Ducks coming back and Ryan Miller likely to start, although John Gibson has started the last four games, and I think he's won all four of them, it looks like Ryan Miller may start tonight because Ryan Miller backstopped the Ducks to their previous win over the Canucks this season, 4-1 in Anaheim in the middle of November. I was looking at some stats, and, you know, Ryan Miller, he wasn't the most loved player when he was here. I think he was kind of a victim of, of playing behind some really bad teams and I think the stats bear that out. I was looking at the stats and and last year the Canucks had an overall goals against average of 2.96. Not very good and that was with Miller and Markstrom. However this year they're over three. They're actually 0.3 goals more. They're at 3.26. So 2.96 last year, 3.26 this year. And this year obviously it's not Markstrom and Miller, it's Markstrom and Nielsen. And that's also because you look at the stats from this year, Ryan Miller's only played 10 games, but his goals against average is around the 2.28, 2.3 level. Whereas Jacob Markson's at 2.79 and Anders Nielsen is at 3.29 or 3.39, something really high. And even in the save percentage, Ryan Miller's at over 920, whereas both Markstrom and Nielsen are at 906. So yes, Ryan Miller's playing with a better team in Anaheim. We know the Canucks str uh, struggles this year with all the injuries. So Markstrom and Nielsen have um, had to you know, play behind not so strong of a team. But you could argue that this team this year, even with the injuries, is a tad stronger than it was last year. And you could also argue that last year, Ryan Miller, he didn't steal a lot of games, but maybe he did steal two, three, four games maybe throughout the season. And you can't really say that Markstrom or Nielsen have stole many games for the Canucks this year. So wh who would you rather have, basically? Last year's combo of Ryan Miller and Jacob Markstrom, and actually last year Jacob Markstrom outplayed Ryan Miller in parts and had a stronger goals against average and save percentage than Ryan Miller did. So who would you have? You had last year's combo of Ryan Miller and Jacob Markstrom, or you have this year's combo of Jacob Markstrom and Anders Nielsen. And last thing to kind of you know t r tie this up a little bit, I think it's a the goaltending problems haven't been so apparent this year, even though the numbers bear them out because the Canucks are scoring way more this year than last year. Last year, they only scored 2.22 goals a game. This year, that number is a whole half a goal more a game at 2.72. So the Canucks are trying to outscore their problems in net. 
Um, they haven't done so completely because obviously you look at where they are in the standings, but they still, they are scoring half a goal more um, per game, which is huge, obviously, to go from 2.22 to go from 2.72. Unfortunately, the goals against have jumped up by 0.3 from 2.96 to 3.26. So pick your poison. The Canucks are scoring more, but they are also letting in more goals. Is that a function of a poor goaltending? What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. I hope your new year is filled with blessings and with joy, and especially for the Vancouver Canucks. I hope they start off well by defeating the Anaheim Ducks tonight. I'll be there with my family, as I mentioned. I hope you enjoy the game, whether you're watching it live or on TV. Have a great day. God bless, and go Canucks go.